the start of World War I, in 1914, soldiers from all over the British Commonwealth came together to face the enemy across Europe. The horror of the fighting was evident immediately. As the casualties mounted up, there was a need for different areas across England to become hospital villages, where the wounded could come to receive treatment and recuperate. One such village was that of Brockenhurst in the New Forest. Brockenhurst was chosen because of its proximity to the south coast ports and its railway connections. In this hospital centre, the main section was formerly known as the Lady Hardinge Hospital. Locals referred to it as Tin Town. It was a 500 bed, tented and galvanised accommodation complex situated at Tull Barn on Church Hill on the ridge overlooking the village and the forest. This is the site as you see it today. There were two other sections commandeered by the army at the Barmalawn Hotel and the Forest Park Hotel. After a while the two hotels became overcrowded so to relieve pressure Morant Hall was set up to take in patients. In this picture, Morant Hall is seen in the background with three triangular roofs. This is what the area looks like today. These buildings were collectively known as the Mirat General Hospital. Today, the area of Mirat Road is named after these hospitals. The hospital treated soldiers from the 3rd Lahore and 7th Meerut Divisions from the Indian Army Corps, who fought with the British Expeditionary Force. Fighting in France and Flanders, the hospitals treated nearly 3,000 troops before the Corps was posted to Egypt in 1915. In January 1916, Tin Town was taken over to form part of the number one New Zealand General Hospital. Extra huts were built and hotels commandeered. In all, over 21,000 casualties were treated in Brockenhurst, with more than 100 New Zealand, Indian and other soldiers that died in the village hospitals. In St Nicholas's churchyard, there are 93 New Zealand graves, one Australian grave, and also three Indian and three Belgian graves. The number one New Zealand General Hospital remained in Brockenhurst until it closed its doors in 1919. Around Brockenhurst, there are areas named after this period of village life, namely Auckland Avenue and Auckland Place. In the 1920s, the original wooden crosses on graves were replaced with engraved headstones. This is what the area looks like today. The sacrifices of the Commonwealth soldiers during World War I is remembered with yearly services and a war memorial in the village so that the people who fought for our freedom will never be forgotten. If you'd like to see more great videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's free of charge and there's absolutely no commitment. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks very much for watching.